Hi there, this is Phil with PhilFX and uh, got another tutorial. Today's tutorial, uh, we're doing this for our advanced Maya class and we're animating the uh, pendulum that is available on high-end 3D and it's a open source rig and uh, it's a really good rig for uh, obviously animating a pendulum and learning how to do in particular overlaps and things like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things you want to do when working with any rig uh, is you want to create some character sets. What character sets are is they allow you to essentially set one key that selects a whole bunch of controls and then allows you to set keys on all of those controls at the same time. It makes your animating uh, much simpler and uh, if you're using a blocking technique, which is what we will be using to animate this, uh, it really helps out a lot. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is this rig has uh, five different controls. So it has a top level control, which most rigs should have. Most properly designed rigs should have a master control. And then there is a rig for the top plate and then the joints going down. Uh, you should almost never uh, animate the uh, master control. Uh, if a rig again for any kind of character or object has been designed properly the master control rig is simply for the initial placement of your object in the scene and any scaling that needs to be done so as you can see over here we have translations and some rotations and a global scale so we can scale this up and scale it down uh, beyond that uh, you really don't need to or want to animate the master controller so we're not going to include the master controller in our character set uh, the next thing is I'm going to show you just a trick for in general selecting controls this happens to be a very simple object uh, with only four controls but if you had a character where you had facial controls and things like that uh, it makes it difficult to go in by hand and try and select all those control lines. So a quick thing you can do is you go up to the show menu and this object has been made just with polygons. So I'm going to turn polygons off and now you can see all I have are the NURB curves which are the uh, uh, controllers for this rig. So I can easily go in and just do a group selection and I've selected all those controllers. Again note I have not selected the master controller and I go up to and make sure I'm on my animation menu and we go over to key come down here to character set and we want to create a character set so let's click the option box so I can see this and you can see I've done this all before so we have all pendulum so you give this a name uh, some kind of name that makes sense and in this case uh, we are animating the pendulum and then you would go in with your selection set and the standard defaults, which are what we have, essentially is all keyable except scale and visibility, which typically that's exactly what you want. Uh, so I'm just going to go with the defaults and we'll say create character set. And so now I have created a character set. And if we go down here at the bottom here, we can see these are our character sets. Now I'm not going to discuss how to create sub character sets, but what you can do in a sub character set is you uh, do something as the name uh, states they are the sub character sets are subsets of the master character uh, why you would do that well let's say for example you had a, a full figure of a human form and so you want to create a character set of the entire form but then you'd like a character set let's say of the right arm and then another character set for the left arm the right leg, the left leg, the face. So things like that where you're working with just one section of that particular character, it makes sense to create subsets. In doing those, the way you would do it is you would select just those controllers and you would then go up to key, come down here and you would create a sub, uh, create a sub character set and uh, so you would do the same procedure basically and had I done that you would create sub characters of this all pendulum uh, if you need to edit any of your character sets there's a character set editor and so you can go in here and you can see what items you have in your uh, character set and you can edit those you can add things or take things away as you see fit all right, so that's how you create character sets, and we'll show how to use them when we do the animation. 
Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to block out our animation on the pendulum. So this has been Phil with Phil Effects.